Hello everyone, welcome to Devices Help and Support. Your ultimate destination for all things related to devices setup, troubleshooting, and optimizing your tech experience. So today, we're going to talk all about Netgear EX6110 setup. If you've been struggling to extend your Wi-Fi coverage or looking for ways to boost your signal strength, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your Netgear EX6110 range extender, ensuring you get the most out of your wireless network. So let's begin. Now, before we delve into the setup process, let's briefly discuss the two primary methods for configuring the Netgear EX6110. The manual method and the WPS method. First up, the manual method. This approach involves accessing the Netgear EX6110 settings through a web browser on your computer or mobile device. It offers more customization options, allowing you to fine-tune your extender settings according to your specific needs. We'll walk you through each step, making sure you understand how to set up your extender manually. On the other hand, we have the WPS method, which stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. This method offers a more streamlined and convenient way to connect your Netgear EX6110 to your existing Wi-Fi network. With just the push of a button on both your router and the extender, they'll automatically sync up, eliminating the need for complex configurations. So without wasting more time, we shall begin with the Netgear EX6110 manual setup. Now, the first step is always to plug your extender into a power outlet. So plug your EX6110 into a power source to turn it on. You can use either of the devices such as your mobile phone or your laptop. Now on your laptop, click on the Wi-Fi icon on the taskbar and then the Wi-Fi list will appear. Then in the Wi-Fi network list on your PC, you'll see the extender network showing Netgear underscore EXT. Ensure you get connected to Netgear underscore EXT network name. Now, open a browser and type mywifiext.net in the address bar. In case if mywifiext.net doesn't work, that you should try entering the default IP address that is 192.168.1.250. Now, one thing you might notice is that the genie wizard may prompt you to create a Netgear account. Once you've accessed the interface, click on the Wi-Fi Range Extender tab. This action directs you to the specific section dedicated to configuring your extender. As you progress through the setup of your Netgear EX6110, you'll reach a crucial step where you'll be prompted to select your preferred network. Now, select the name of the network that you wish to extend. Thus, choose the Home Router Network SSID name. Now, as you continue to set up Netgear Extender via Web Interface or Netgear Genie Wizard, you will probably get a prompt asking for the password of your Wi-Fi network. Ensuring safe connectivity between your extender and your current Wi-Fi network requires taking this essential step. Now, you should be able to see your extended network as same as your home router's network name, which ends with underscore EXT. To connect to the EX6110 or the extended network, enter the same password that you use for your router. Once you've completed all the steps in the Netgear Genie setup for your EX6110, you'll receive a confirmation message indicating that the setup is complete. This confirmation assures you that your extender is now successfully connected to your Wi-Fi network and ready to enhance your wireless coverage. Alright, now, let's proceed with the Netgear EX6110 WPS setup or Wi-Fi protected setup. It's necessary to check if your Wi-Fi router supports WPS by checking it physically looking for the WPS button on your existing Wi-Fi router. Ensure that your existing router is in close proximity to the Netgear EX6110 Wi-Fi extender, ideally within the same room. Now press the WPS button. It's located on the side panel of the EX6110 extender. Then you will notice a blinking WPS LED light on your Netgear EX6110 Wi-Fi range extender. Now press your router's WPS button for around 1 to 2 minutes. Now finally the router LED light on your EX6110 will lit up. And ultimately, the Netgear EX6110 WPS LED light will become solid green which means the extender setup is finally successful. You can now access the extended network and enjoy the internet in a wide range as the Netgear EX6110 installation is successfully completed.